eat the apple on going to bed, and you will keep a doctor, from earning his bread. We all have heard this phrase, or its variant, at some point in our life. But, is it really true? Which countries produce the most apples? What health benefits come with apples? Are apple seeds poisonous to humans? Can we kill someone, with apple seeds? If yes, then how can we prevent this from happening to us? Let's talk about this, in our new episode, of Stats to Analyze. Let's begin with Bar's race, to see the most apples producing countries from 1960, to 2020. First thing first, let's clarify the axis to resolve every doubt. The very left side of the screen is reserved for the flag of the country, the name of the country is written inside the bars, which relies on the mercy of the stats. The production year is written on southeast corner of the screen. The color coding is done as per the continents, and name of the continents are written below the header. All the figures are in tons per annum. This may be noted, that the various sources give various numbers, still we have tried our best, to feed you the finest, and as accurate information, as we can. Apple is native to Central Eurasia, which is now known as, Kazakhstan, it have been traveling across the world, by traders, and travelers. And somewhere near 1500 years ago, apples were first mentioned in Hindu medicine scriptures. An apple a day proverb, was first used in 1922, and unsurprisingly, when science studied it, they found that the apples are really really helpful. According to the British Medical Journal, eating apple every day, could prevent more than 12% in vascular related deaths, and, a 2011 study, from American Heart Association, found that the people who eat apples, have 52% less chance of stroke, or heart diseases. Now, it's time for the PJ. Look at the stats, no wonder why iPhones, are made in China. Now, moving forward, by the end of 2020, China is producing more apples, than the whole world combined, not only apples. China is dominating in most fruit production as well, and, the most apple producing countries in the world by 2020 are, China, United States, and the Turkey. According to Medical News Today website, apples contain the following building blocks, pectin, it is a form of fiber, that helps to reduce the blood pressure, cholesterol, and maintain glucose levels, boron, which supports healthy bones, and is really good for the brain. Quercetin, it is a flavonoid, which helps to reduce the damage from the free radicals. Free radicals can damage DNA, so eliminating them means lower risks of cancer, Alzheimer's and age-related problems. Apples also contain vitamin A, C, E, and beta-carotene, which also fight free radicals, and hence, improve your immunity reduce risk of heart disease, asthma, and diabetes. But, this miracle fruit have a flaw. The seeds of apple, contain amygdalin, which is a chemical substance that releases cyanide as soon as the digestion starts. If you are not aware about cyanide, then the one-line introduction will be, one of the deadliest poison, ever made, or discovered. Luckily apple seeds are covered with a hard coating, that's resistant to digestion. So, if you eat a apple seed, it will go through your digestive system, untouched, and won't release any poison. But, what if you start biting into the seed, and crack the hard coating? The cyanide will get into your system. But, the good thing is, that your body is perfectly capable of detoxifying small amounts of this poison. So, how many cracked seeds will make the cyanide amount lethal? It's estimated that at least 145 seeds have to be consumed, before the amount of cyanide, reaches critical. This means, at least, 18 to 20 apples, in one go. Obviously, we are not suggesting that you can kill a person by adding crushed seeds in their food. This video is only for educational purpose and should be used for self-defense during terrorist attacks. Now moving on. How can you save yourself from being apple poisoned? Whenever you eat apple, 
crush its seed and swallow it. This will allow your body to build antibodies against the poison. This process is called Mithridatism. Mithridatism is the practice of protecting oneself against a poison, by gradually self-administering non-lethal amounts. This is a tried and tested method by some of the greatest kings of all times, including Chandragupta Maurya, Rasputin, and Mithridates from the Great Roman Empire. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more.